But first, I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is Rotem. It's okay now. You hear me? No. Um, now it's okay. Okay. So my name is Rotem, and I'm a program manager in the Excel team here in Microsoft. And today I came to talk with you about some new functionality that we have in Excel and how to uh, boost your productivity using Excel for the web. So first, how many of you have ever used Excel for the web before? OK, so that's impressive. I think that it's more than we expected. Um, but how many of you are using it on a daily basis? Yeah, so less. Um, I hope that after this presentation, you will start using it more frequently because there's an, there's an amazing thing uh, going on in the web today. Um, so before I dive into the actual product and show you some demos, I would like to go briefly on the four big advantages of Excel for the web. So the first one is that all you need is a browser. And with that said, you can access to Excel for the web from anywhere. You can access from your Windows, your Mac, your iOS, your Android. Everything is available. You just need a browser. The second uh, big advantage is, is that it's always up to date. You don't need to like, take care of up the upgrade of your version. If like, there's two people working on the same document and one has a different version than the other, one can, may be missing some functionality. Um, so in Excel for the Web, it, it doesn't happen. We release features as we go. And if we have IT people here, uh, so you may know how hard it is to maintain all the installation of the, the, the newer versions. The third thing is it's actually uh, the interface you all know. Uh, it has the same grid, the same ribbon, and the same functionality. Um, so basically, you don't need to learn anything new. And last but not least is that it's very easy to transition between the Excel Windows application or Mac into the, to the web and back. Um, it's smoothly, it, the transition is very smoothly, and you don't need any e additional effort to go between them. Um, I, I will show you it deeply, more in details in the demo, um, but you can just basically move between them based on your needs. So this is a partial list of the features that we released in the last year. Some of them are trivial, we know, <laughs> but some of them are more advanced. As, as you can see here, we have insert pivot tables, insert pivot charts, um, mentions, and ha you can also insert conditional formatting into your workbook. And we all know these, these features are very important for the, your daily work. Um, I also invite you to follow us uh, in our What's New page, specific for Excel for the web, uh, and you will get live update, and we publish there our roadmap, and if you have any feedback, you can provide it uh, from there as well. And I think moving forward, you will see that, uh, that m all the new features that comes into Excel will first be available for the web, because today we understand the importance of, the, of working in the web, and we invest in that accordingly. Um, so I really recommend to follow us in this page and like update us if you have any specific feedback for features because we're really listening to our customer request here. Um, but that's not all. Uh, we still have a lot of features that are coming soon. Uh, we have the single line ribbon that I will show you in a few minutes. Also, the ideas intelligent feature that is quite new. It's also available for all platforms and not only the web. Uh, dynamic arrays that you may have seen uh, in some sessions here will be all also available in the web, and the new data types. Um, so as you all know today, Excel is the most popular tool for analyzing data in the world. But we understand that the world is changing, and we're trying to make Excel features more smarter, personalized, and connected to uh, make the analyst work more productive. Today, I chose to give you a, 
a taste of the new functionality uh, that it is coming soon in, in Excel for the web and in Excel for general. And I hope uh, you will find it useful. Um, so I'll just move on to the demos. Um, hope I did the right thing. OK. So first of all, I chose to show you actually uh, our mobile app. Uh, we have a cool new feature um, that for say, if I say I got this table on a PDF from my, from my customer and I want to upload it into Excel, I don't need it anymore to like, copy it manually. I, can, I have here in the app, uh, you, you can't see it, but believe me. Uh, <laughs> we have here this uh, icon, a, a grid with a camera. And if you allow the camera to access, the application to access to your camera, I will just take a picture of this table. It's processing, and I will upload it into my cloud file. So by the time it, it is processing, and it, it will take a few seconds, I will introduce you to our new single line ribbon. Um, the reason that we put in the, all the commands in one, in one line is just to give you more workspace in the web, since we have also the browser uh, wrapping it. So as you can see, it, it has the same functionality as, as, it all, as Excel windows that you know. Some of, it, of, some of it are here in the three dots. It's not missing um, because we get some feedback on that. Um, and now I will insert my table. The internet connection is maybe a little slow, but it will come here. So easily I got the, this, the, this table into Excel without needing to do any additional effort. Uh, so it was very easy. And like the red sign here tells me that it, it's not sure that he recognized it perfectly. So he, he, has, he showed me, he gave me an option on the mobile to fix this red, uh, red marks. So the second, so I'll go briefly into Excel. Um, so this is an Excel work, Excel um, for the web workbook. As it is it today, before we change the ribbon, uh, you may see it like this. Um, so the interesting thing is that it looks exactly the same, but we have this address bar, and I'm not alone in this workbook. I have here Megan working on the same workbook with me. Actually, Megan is working on a desktop app. As you can see, we're collaborating together. I, one is using the desktop app, and one is using the web app. Uh, this is an amazing uh, progress that we've done uh, with collaboration. But that's not all. If Megan, let's say Megan is not here with me in the document in this time, and I want to leave her a comment or ask, ask her to do something on the file, I can just insert a comment and mention her, ask her, Megan, can you please update the report? By sending this, by adding this comment, actually Megan will get an email that looks like this, that I mentioned her in a file, and she will get here a deep link into the cell that I mentioned her, the exact place. Did, this emphasized the productivity productivity using messaging and commenting in Excel without any needs to go to another app, like, like the email app, attach my file, and ask her to do that. This is this Excel will do the work for, for you. Um, so we think that this will, uh, this will very uh, boost your productivity and help you with communicating with the people that are working with you, uh, that, that are working with you on that exact document. So the third demo I would like to show you is about our new data type. So until today, Excel was all about strings and numbers. But think what will happen in, if each of these strings will contain a rich data object. For example, here I have a list of countries in, in, the, in this table. And 
I can easily transform them into a geography data type. As you can see now, I have this icon, and Excel brought all the relevant data for Argentina, for example, into, into Excel. And I remi I'm remi reminding you that this is all on the web. Um, so that's a very uh, cool thing. So Excel brings all the information, but it's not surfaced in your grid unless you initially ask for that. If I want to add uh, more columns about these, these countries, for example, I will just click this button and add the area of the country and the population size easily. Also, if you want to add like a new con another country that is not on the list, for example, United States, Excel will search for it and find in and find that United States is a, also a country and will fill out the area and population as the other countries. But that's not all. If I want to use Excel functions using these properties, this is also available. For example, I will add the density for each of the countries. So I, I will write a, a regular Excel function that calls to B3 that is the country for here is Argentina and ask the population and I will divide it with the area. And, and it calculated the density for all the, these countries without me needing to go to another uh, website and search for this, for this data. We are, it is also available for stocks. Here, for, here I have a list of companies. Um, I'm Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Snap, and Starbucks. And I, will, I can easily transi transition, do the transition to stocks, data types as well. And I have here all the information about this specific stock. For example, Microsoft stock and the uh, stock price and so on. And I can do it the same. Um, so the last thing I want to show you is uh, ideas. Ideas is a smart and intelligent data service that combines the power of Excel and the cloud um, that provide you insight on your data. All of, a lot of people here in the audience uh, may know that the hardest thing for an analyst is doing the first step into his data. Like I got here the sales, my sales data. I have here year, category, product, and sales. And I don't know where to start from. So I will easily click on, on the ideas task pane, and it sends all my data into a cloud service that will analyze my data and give me some ideas of how to analyze it. Here you can see that it, it gave me some pivot charts um, options, and I will choose the sales increases over time. Um, okay, so I got here actually a pivot table and a pivot chart already re ready for me to use the Excel tool that I know uh, that you are familiar with is pivot chart fields. And I want to start playing with my data more. So I will drag the category into the legend and I can easily edit my chart and show my legend on the top. And it was e easily I, I can get a, a, an analyst of my an analyst of my my data without needing to to really know uh, more a lot of a lot of uh, functionality in Excel. Um, so um, I will switch back. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay, so that was my presentation. If anybody have uh, questions, so I'll be uh, here after the session and in the booth. I also recommend you to join us to the Excel community uh, in this link. Uh, we, 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 you can ask questions there. We, we upload blogs with updates, and we, you can give us feedback on how to make Excel product uh, better. We really listen to this product, so this is very to this feedback. So this is very important for us. Uh, so we will happy to have you uh, uh, to be part of our community. Um, thank you for listening. Um, and we are in the Excel booth down there. 
for more questions.